What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy, Awakened Toast here, and today, welcome back to another Blade and Sorcery video. And what we're gonna be doing today is something that's gonna be a bit shorter than my other videos, because as a lot of you guys may know, most of my videos last anywhere from like 10 to like 25 minutes when I'm covering mods within Blade and Sorcery. But what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be covering one of the secret Easter eggs that are actually within the game of Blade and Sorcery. The best part about this is the fact that you can find it literally on this map. So whether or not you're in the tutorial or you just spawned in to go for another Blade and Sorcery session, you can find this bad boy right on this map. So without further ado, I think it's about time for us to go in and cover this little secret that's on the map. And this is just such a cool little uh, thing to add into the game because like, you know, you sit here and think about Blade and Sorcery being this game that's all about brutality, blood, and just, like, no mercy, you know? Like, that's literally what this game is all about. But this little Easter egg is something that I found really, really comedic, and I thought it was just really, really nice and lighthearted to add into the game. So, I wish I would have actually brought, like, some type of torch, but I guess we can just use a fireball and use this as kind of our, our light source. So, let's go and just kind of float down. I forget that you can actually still do this with one hand, because most of the time, I go and use this with the double. But this will still hopefully work out as long as I don't take too much damage. We are good to go. All right, so if you guys come down right to this cave, which seriously, this is like one of my favorite spots in the entire map, just because of the sole fact of the atmosphere that this puts you in. Like, just look at the lighting, look at the scale, man. Like, this is a, this is a really cool spot. I definitely recommend to anyone out there, if you have not explored the main spawn map, to go and do that because... There was a lot of work that was put into all of this, and I love it. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen? We could sit here and admire this entire cave for the rest of the video, but that is not what the theme of this is. We're here to go and check the little Easter egg that is hiding below these rocks. So if you go and check here, you can find a little turtle just scouting out in this little spot. And I find this just, it, it's so funny in a game that's literally all about brutality in combat. And then there's just this happy little turtle chilling below these rocks. Like, I love this thing. This is awesome. I remember like way back, I want to say in like Blade and Sorcery U7 or, oh, whoops. I, I do not want to shoot a big meteor at him. But uh, I think back in like the U7 version or U8, someone made a mod called Carl the Turtle. I don't know if any of you guys have seen that, but I remember downloading it like way back when. And this is what that little turtle reminds me of. I wonder if this is either paying homage to the modding community or whatever else it is. But regardless, I love the fact that this little guy is just chilling in the game. Like he just, he's a happy little boy. I, I want him. I want to bring him into my setup, into the, uh, into the home room so we can use him for like all of the intros, man. But ladies and gentlemen, I need your guys' opinions on what we should name the little turtle. I mean, I feel like we have to name him Carl because I mean, that's just, that's the homage to the modding community, you know, but in the same way, like if anyone else has a better name that everyone's on board with, we'll definitely name the turtle that name. But yeah, that's just something that I wanted to show you guys. I thought it was a cool little secret. I ended up seeing this on Reddit. So if any of you guys want to go and show some love to the original founders of this, I'll be leaving a link down in the description below so you guys can go and check that out. But overall, like, this is just something that I found so, uh, so comedic to be in a game that's just, you know, so gore heavy and, you know, combat ready and all that stuff. And we got a happy turtle. Like, I don't know what to expect out of Blade and Sorcery anymore. I, I really don't. But that was basically the main plans for this video. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed. And as always, keep it toasty, my friends. Laters!